Hello there beautiful people, I hope you are having a creative day. In the last video we talked about how to use the content management system or CMS and we designed this product category section using that. Um, in this video we are going to talk about how to optimize our website for mobile and tablet devices. Um, in short we're going to learn about the responsive behavior of the elements in Wix Studio. So if you look at the mobile website right now it's a mess, you know, nothing is um, in order and it looks very very bad really horrible so we are going to fix this and uh, I'm going to teach you how to uh, optimize your website for different devices in a perfect way we are also going to learn about the responsive AI and how to use that the first thing we're gonna do is stack the elements together really important to create a hierarchy and a perfect alignment of the elements so for example these elements this heading this subtitle and the button are together so I'm gonna select this click on one hold shift and you can select all elements together and stack right so this will group this element together right all the elements will be grouped in a you know one box after that we need to assign some responsive property for that so for the headings or anything that is you know any text that has a, a big font size like for this one we have 70 so it's a big font uh, we can set the scale proportionally for this one. Meanwhile, for the paragraphs, the best option is the wrap, all right? So select the wrap for this and set the alignment as well. After that, we are going to stretch this. And this will be helpful when we, you know, uh, optimize this text for the mobile. And for the buttons, I personally prefer the fixed responsive behavior because button size can be same for mobile tablet and desktop all right another thing we have let's go back to the mobile the uh, vector image so go here open the box and inside the container we have the vector art for this type of images the best option is scale proportionally and now it looks good for both the mobile and the tablet all right, now let's do the same thing for other uh, states as well. All right, so we are done with it. Now let's uh, make some essential changes right here. So first thing you will see right out the box is that this looks good. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with the, uh, you know, the design of the text. However, we need to uh, make some changes to this image. The first thing you will notice is that this container overlaps on the uh, menu and this will be problematic when people, you know, navigate your website. They won't be able to uh, click on this. So we have to uh, make some essential changes. Let's decrease, uh, you know, bring this image around here. Position it in a way that it does not overlap with the uh, menu right here. Let's do the same for other elements. Uh, this one looks good. It's not overlapping. Um, same for this one. Okay, so I'm satisfied with the design for the tablets. Now let's go to the mobile and set it as well. So my idea is to put this box in the uh, bottom and stretch this design. So first of all, let's choose the section and resize it like this. All right, then select this stack and bring it here align it in the center and stretch the entire uh, box now as you can see this stack element uh, always stays together um, the next thing we're going to do is change the alignment here because this is not desktop this is mobile so we're gonna change the uh, position to the middle like this all right now select the container go to responsive behavior and stretch now let's select this uh, element the stack and align it to the bottom and add a margin around five to ten percent and we are good to go now let's do the same for other uh, sections, other states as well. One thing you will notice is that this uh, image 
right here overlaps on the menu so we have to make sure that this does not interfere with the menu items right here so let's go ahead and add some margin on top as well okay uh, let's do the same for this image as you can see this is overlapping with the uh, header so select the container and add some margin like this All right, so the multi-state box is done. Now let's go to the next section and design it as well. First, talking about the responsive behavior, the first thing you need to do is stack the elements together. I have already done it. For the text, as I said before, the wrap is the best option. And for these uh, type of small elements, the fixed behavior is the best. Um, one more thing, go here in the settings and make sure that you add the uh, text for you know alternative text for this shape all right um, after that let's go to the tablet and let's increase the width of this element from 80 to 90 percent and let's also decrease some font value here to 12 maybe let's also increase some um, uh, we can also increase the height of the elements all right so this looks good here uh, let's add some distance like this and align them in the center all right so this one is for uh, tablet now let's go to the mobile now let's talk about the responsive ai how to use that uh, select the element and hit the response to AI. You need to select this section in order to use that. And the Wix Studio response to AI will come up with the design for this section. So the response to AI has come up with this design. Um, now you can make some essential change like uh, putting this element here and changing its size. But we don't want to talk about that. It's really easy. Anyone can use it. I don't want to focus on the response to AI for this one. What I want to focus is how we can manually set the design ourselves, have more control over the design. So first thing we're going to do is select the repeater and set it from cards to list okay and this will give you this design the next thing we're going to do is select the stack and align it to center like this the next thing increase the width of the text and the font as well After that, let's set some more alignment. Set it to middle, like this. If you want you can further increase the uh, width after that let's uh, add some margin okay 
Okay, so it looks like this. And finally, let's set the uh, animation from bottom to the left. So go to adjust setting, change from below to from left. Right, and we are good to go. One more thing I want to show you here is another responsive behavior which works well for this type of uh, text, and that is custom scale. The custom scale basically uh, sets a value from one font to another, and it changes according to the device width and device size. So if you look at the uh, preview, you will see that text, uh, the font changes according to the width and the size of the device, right? But if we set it to wrap, it won't change uh, the size of the text at all. So that looks weird in you know the, the larger devices. So as you can see, the font looks really small. So for this type of text, I will personally prefer custom scale and you will set the font value from uh, higher to lower based on the device width. So yeah, that's how you uh, create the responsive design in Wix Studio. Uh, that's how you set the design for mobile and tablet devices. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.